I was asked the other day how to place nuts and washers in an assembly where I have studs instead of bolts. Your first guess may go up, be to go up to design and pick on your bolted connection. You'll soon find that you cannot place nuts and washers unless you have a bolt. In this case we have threaded studs. I have two assemblies here, one with patterned studs and one with randomly placed studs. The procedure is very similar. I'll go over both. We will be using the content center. So we're going to place from content center and for the washers we're going to turn on auto drop. We can use auto drop because it's the first uh, part to be placed. Under washers I'm going to use the spring washer and then I'll double click on helical spring lock washers and then I'll zoom up and hover over the edge of the hole. This will automatically size it. Select that and you'll see the auto drop box come up. Now this is a pattern so pattern will work. It's highlighted automatically. If you don't have a pattern, which you'll see in a few seconds, you can actually click on the instance, the multiple insert. But I'm going to use pattern in this one and enjoy it apply it. There are my washers. To place a nut, you might think about using the same process. Let's do that and see what happens. Leave auto drop on and go to nuts. I'm going to go to the plain hex nuts and double click on the hex nut inch. I'll hover. I have to hover over the edge of the hole to pick up the size. It's kind of back in the back, but I can find it. There it is right there. It'll size it. I pick. I go ahead and say OK. I'll say UNC. And you'll see it puts the nuts, but they're all buried inside the washers, which is not acceptable. So I'm going to undo that function and do it a different way. So now all content center parts have I mates made onto them. So if I click on one of these elements, you'll see it has the I mate show up. We're going to use that to our advantage. So I'm going to go into place from content center, remove the auto drop, double click on the hex nut inch, pick half inch, UNC, leave it as standard, but click on use iMates. Say OK. The first one is placed. Do not left click, but right click and pick place all remaining matching, excuse me, place at all matching iMates. And you'll see it fills in the nuts perfectly. Now it may zoom on you so you might want to change that behavior if you don't want to zooming. Go to your application options and under assembly, change this to none if you have trouble zooming. Now let's switch over to the non-pattern studs. The process is very much the same except for one small thing. Go to the content center. We'll pick on washers. Turn auto drop back on and go to your spring washer double click the helical lock and then hover over the edge. Now the only difference between this one and the previous one is you do not have a pattern button. You must use insert multiple. You see it lights up each one. Just apply and you have your washers. From this point on it's identical. You simply go up, place from content center, take off auto drop, pick on nuts, hex nuts, double click the hex nut inch, pick the size, UNC, as standard use iMates. It finds the first one, right click and say place at all matching iMates, which finds all the washers and places the appropriate nut. So that's all there is to it, to place nuts and washers on studs. Hope this helps.